Let's take a look at this problem. Find the number of units X that produce the minimum average cost per unit. We got C is equal to X to the third plus 27X plus 400. The minimum average cost. That's given by this formula. C bar is equal to C over X. So let's find that. Uh, we're going to take this, put it over x. So we got x to the third plus 27x plus 400 all over x. Now, since I got a single term down denominator, I can split them into separate fractions. So we got x to the third over x plus 27x over x plus 400 over x, which gives us x squared plus 27 plus 400x to the negative 1 power. This is x to the first, take it up on top, becomes x to negative 1. So now I find derivative. Derivative of our uh, average cost uh, with respect to x. The uh, x squared becomes 2x. 27 uh, disappears. Plus 400. Take your power, put it out in front, lower it by 1. Which then gives us 2x. 400 times negative 1 gives us negative 400 x to negative 2, which gives us 2x minus 400 over x squared. Now uh, we, we want to um, merge these into a single fraction, so I can put the 2x over 1 minus 400 over x squared. Multiply top and bottom by x squared, and we get uh, 2x to the third over x squared minus 400 over x squared. Merges into a single fraction, we get 2x to the third minus 400 all over x squared. Well, now to find our critical values, we're going to set top part equal to 0 and bottom part equal to 0. So we've got 2x to the third minus 400 equal to 0, and x squared is equal to 0. Now the x squared equal to 0, we can drop the squared and we just get x equal to 0. We don't want any negative values, we don't want any zero values for x, because x is number of units. So let's work with this one. I want to get the x to the third by itself, so I take the negative 4 to the right side and becomes a positive, or negative 400 to the right side becomes a positive 400. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x to the third is equal to 200. Now this um, right here, x to the third is x to the 3 over 1. The reason why I went this route instead of factoring it is because um, we have just an x to a power with some numbers. <coughs> this works out well to get the x to the power by itself. Now I uh, rewrote 3 as 3 over 1, but in fraction form. To eliminate that uh, exponent, you're going to take both sides to the power equal to the reciprocal of that. Reciprocal is fraction flip, so 3 over 1, the reciprocal will be 1 third. So I'm taking both sides of the 1 third power. Well, I'm going to do that. These 3's cancel, the 1's cancel. And we got x is equal to 1 third power is a cube root. So we got x is equal to the cube root of 200. Um, let's go see what that's equal to. So cube root. I'm going to my math, choose number 4, and cube root of 200 gives us 5.8. Now I'm going to round it like normal, so that'll be x equals 6. Okay. Now we can build our table of intervals. Clear over here is x equals 0 or x equals negative infinity. Clear over here is positive infinity. Now we want to choose test cases, something between 0 and 6, like 1, something greater than 6, like 10. Now we want to plug those into our derivative here. Now the x squared is always positive, so we don't need to worry about it. We just need to plug these values into the top part. Now if I put 1 in here, 1 to the third is 1, times 2 is 2, 2 minus 400 is negative, so this is decreasing. If I put 10 in here, 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 is 100, times another 10 is 1,000, times 2 is 2,000, minus 4 is positive, so it's increasing. 
So this is indeed a min. And all they're wanting is number of units. So our answer would be x equals 6.